one of the basic tenets of, of lupus as a disease is that it affects young women. And why that is, is not clear at all. It's one of the oldest truths in lupus and one of the least understood. Um, it, it became obvious to me that we have the natural experiment, the, the experiment of nature in pediatrics where children go from low risk of having lupus to higher risk of having lupus during puberty. And we have girls and boys to compare. The other thing that's wonderful about the, the project that uh, the LFA is funding is that as children go through puberty, they sequentially acquire one hormone at a time. So that will let us look at, do these children actually have uh, lupus flares because their estrogen is up, for example, or is it at a time when leptin or prolactin or one of the other hormones that differ between girls and boys uh, and differ through puberty are activated. And um, so that's, that's basically the nut of the project is to try to understand the sex difference in lupus and why females are so much more predisposed to the disease, but also to understand why children who already have early onset lupus flare during puberty. That should also help us understand why children who have not yet expressed lupus but clearly have the genetic potential express lupus for the first time during puberty. The other component of this uh, project that is novel is to look at uh, the gene expression profiles of children sequentially as they are going through puberty so that we will know which genes are turned on, which genes are turned off, and in fact we may find early biomarkers not only for flare and lupus but also for puberty, which has never been done. This is what is called a prospective multi-center uh, observational study and that means that it's not a clinical trial we aren't giving drugs to anybody what we're trying to do is understand the process we have a, a uh, coordinated group of seven pediatric rheumatologists across the country working together on this uh, and we will be enrolling girls and boys who are approaching puberty and then, provided they give consent and are willing to be a part of this study, at each three monthly visit for the study's purpose, they may need more visits obviously if they're ill, but at least every three months, we will obtain clinical data which includes their physical exam which will tell us if they've started puberty, how far along they are, etc., how active their lupus disease is. We will do a comprehensive medical history at each visit and we will obtain blood and urine. The blood and urine will be used for several things. We will measure hormone levels to document where we are in the pubertal process and also to document how active the disease process is. The urine likewise will be used for those kinds of studies. At the present time, I think it's no surprise to anybody that, that we are currently treating lupus largely with uh, atom bombs or at least cannon, uh, trying to suppress inflammation. But in doing that, we have a lot of bad side effects. If we can predict that a child who already has lupus is going to have a flare at a particular developmental stage or in response to a particular hormone, better still, we may be able to dampen the effects of these hormones with anti-hormone therapy. What the benefit is, is that if these children who are in the flower of life, if you will, who are trying to grow very actively, can have a dampening of the hormone that makes lupus worse and keep their disease in better control without having to put them on cyclophosphamide, which may render them infertile, uh, I think it would be a, a real benefit. I can't guarantee that's what's going to come from this, but that's the overall hope.